Moving on to the second last phylum under kingdom Animalia which is phylum Echinodermata. The example given is Asteria species uh, or common name we call as a starfish. Okay. Actually Echinodermata ni Echin ni maksudnya spike. Okay. Ataupun uh, spike lah spiky. Dermata ni maksudnya skin. So maksudnya untuk uh, species yang under Echinodermata dia ada spiky ataupun spiny skin. Okay. Uh, tapi untuk starfish, uh, specifically, uh, dia punya spiny skin dia dah reduce. Okay? Uh, so, dia tidak tajam lah sebenarnya kalau kita touch starfish. Okay? Uh, mungkin ada several species yang tajam tapi mostly dia tidak tajam lah. Uh, another species under phylum echinodermata sebenarnya adalah sea urchin. Okay? Uh, so si urchin ni kalau kita literally translate uh, landak laut kalau siapa pernah tengok rasanya uh, borneo ni banyak okay? uh, si urchin ni dia yang tajam-tajam warna hitam uh, dalam dia kalau kita cut half dia ada fleshy tissue inside yang kita makan lah uh, itu echinodermata sebab dia punya skin spiny okay okay uh, so kita fokus pada starfish lah sebenarnya ok the first unique character of echinodermata uh, during larvae time they are bilateral symmetry but during adult time they are pentaradial or radial symmetry so starfish ni kalau kita cut uh, in five direction dia akan produce a mirror image ok ok body dia uh, have an endoskeleton with spine so dalam dia ada endoskeleton maksudnya dia tidak ada exoskeleton lah endoskeleton uh, which is made up of calcium carbonate same as the phylum mollusca and then no head and the body radiate from the center so untuk species under echinodermata kita tak jumpa head ok they just body which is Uh, datang daripada center Okay, daripada center baru dia pecah Okay, and then has spiny skin For protection against predators And then number 4 Unique character can undergo regeneration Which is a type of sexual reproduction So, kalau starfish If you cut uh, Dia punya arms One of the arms Kalau kamu tak setuh dia punya important parts Uh, dia boleh regenerate balik arms yang lost okay? Ataupun yang kamu dah cut tadilah uh, And then number 5 Has water vascular system that branches into tube feet Under surface of arm Okay starfish ni kan dia ada 5 arm okay? Under the arm actually dia ada tube feet okay? Kalau saya boleh zoom in gambar ni Okay nampak eh tube feet Uh, kalau satu kita panggil tube foot tapi kalau plural kita panggil tube feet. So macam mana tube feet ni ataupun secara keseluruhannya starfish ni uh, nak bergerak cari makan and so on dia akan guna water vascular system. Okay? So dia guna air lah uh, mainly untuk dia bergerak. Okay. Uh, And then has a structure called ampulla to store fluid ataupun to operate the tube feed. So cara tube feed ni nak bergerak sebenarnya dia akan store fluid dalam satu structure nama dia ampulla. So saya zoom in gambar bawah ni. Okay. So air akan masuk dalam ampulla ni. So bila ampulla tu dah banyak air. Once the ampulla contract dia akan push water down ke bawah menyebabkan podium ataupun tube feed tu boleh bergerak. Okey, ha, itu cara starfish uh, move ataupun um, feeding ataupun uh, gases exchange. Okey, uh, saya tunjuklah eh kalau kita dah ni gambar dalam untuk uh, starfish. So sebenarnya air water will come uh, from a uh, madreporite Okay, masuk dalam madreporite ataupun sieve plate and then air tu akan lalu ring canal so lepas lalu ring canal dia akan pass through radial canal so starfish ada 5 radial canal lah so once dia lalu dekat radial canal barulah dia akan fill in each uh, tube feed ataupun specificnya ampulla region tu with water okay 
and then after that uh, when muscles surrounding surrounding the ampulla contract uh, fluid inside the ampulla will move down into the tube feet which is causes the tube feet to extend uh, waktu tu lah dia bergerak okay? uh, sebelum before ampulla to contract uh, dia pendek sikit tube feet tu but after the ampulla contract and the water inside the ampulla is pushed out through the tube feet it causes the tube feet to extend okay? and then causes movement of the starfish okay? uh, sebenarnya simple lah ok Okay, and then apa lagi ciri-ciri lain starfish? Gases exchange uh, uses tiny gills uh, and then reproduction uh, mostly separate sexes and gametes are shed into the water and then they have large gonads due to necessity of releasing large numbers of gametes into the marine environment. Okay. And then for nervous system, consists of central nerve ring with nerve branches extending into the arms. Yang ni kita tak belajar details, okay? Uh, so, ring dekat tengah, nerve ring. And then, dia akan branches uh, ke dia punya arms lah, okay? Yang ni saya tak tunjuk lah, yang eh, mana dia punya nervous system. And then, do not have brain, okay? Untuk echinodermata. Okay, untuk the last slide which is unique character of echinodermata and relation to its survival. This one just extra information you may read on your own. Okay, mm, okay that's all for phylum echinodermata.